morning what a beautiful morning so i'm gonna go for a walk and after the walk i'm gonna show you around a little bit around the garden yeah it's sunday morning absolutely gorgeous so lately i've been doing two and three quarter miles in the morning and two and three quarter miles in the afternoon for a total of five and a half miles a day whenever i can sometimes i have to work and i can't do both I only do the ones in the afternoon, but uh, it's making me feel good. I'm losing a little bit of weight, and that's what matters, feeling good. And I know I haven't vlogged in ages, but if you've noticed, for those of you that are subscribed to my wife's channel, I've been posting a video up there once a week uh, on my wife's Spanish language channel. So yes, I've been very active on YouTube all summer long on her channel i record i edit i upload i'm the admin for her channel so i get to see all the comments in there as well so i'm almost done with the walk i started daily walking about two months ago when my wife went up to upstate new york to take care of the grandchildren so it used to take me 49 minutes to do two and three quarter miles and then i went down to 48 47 46 45 and now i can do it in 44 minutes so here I am at mi casita. Okay, so here's my garden. We got the uh, jalapenos, recao. Recao has been growing a lot these days. So I have about seven plants. We got the basil. We have ghost peppers here. I got quite a few of them and Carolina Reapers all the way at the end and some sweet peppers and check it out sunflower now the regal is an excellent plant uh, to make sofrito it makes the uh, makes all the foods taste a lot better Com commonly found in Puerto Rico not necessarily up here you do have to go to some specialized Hispanic stores to find it but it grows pretty good uh, here in Jersey so when you grow recao, make sure that you plant them in the uh, potting, potting soil, potting mix that doesn't have any seeds. Now the seeds for recao are very, very tiny and it takes about three weeks to germinate and the plants are super small. So you wanna make sure you use a potting mix so nothing else grows other than uh, what, whatever you plant. So where do I get my seed from? I, I got my seed a long time ago, a couple of years ago from Las Marias, from my father's house. And when the plant wants to go to seed, this is what the seeds look like. I'm gonna let this plant go to seed, and when this turns brown, it'll be ready to, uh, for the seeds to uh, pick. Right now it's green, you see that? Okay, here's another plant on the ground. This one's about to seed too, and you see this right here? And once this turns, once it dries up and turns brown, then the seeds will be ready to pick. Now, one thing about these plants, once it turns brown, the plant itself will die. So if you don't want uh, your plant to go to seed, what you need to do is you, you have to cut these off. But I'm gonna let this one die, and yeah, that way I'll have hundreds and hundreds of seeds. All right, so I'm gonna pick some sweet peppers here. They're ripe, they're ready. And uh, some of the tomatoes. Check out the banana plants. Oh, I have some more like out here too. And there's another sunflower. That one is huge. A lot bigger than that one over there. And I got some wakatai over there, which is a Peruvian plant that my wife uses for special Peruvian dishes for sauces. Oh, and check these out. I just noticed them. These are peppers from uh, Puerto Rico. Check them out. Well, I brought these seeds a couple of years ago. So from I, either from my father's house or from my aunt's house in San Sebastián. 
and yeah they're starting to produce now and these were sent to me by a subscriber they should be similar to what you see here all right guys so this is why I planted the uh, kale spinach is gone now and the Swiss chard it's doing pretty good the Swiss chard, uh, 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 the Swiss chard I've been using every week uh, all my salads and they haven't been affected by anything but unfortunately the kale the kale leaves they have been affected by uh, small bugs like small little worms they've been eating all the leaves and I cut them all back uh, a couple of days ago but here in a couple of weeks you'll the leaves will grow back up and you can see it right there they're starting to grow again now what happens I left this one here what happens is that the bugs come in and you notice that there are no leaves they will eat them all up every stitch of leaves so I'm about to cut this back too and let them grow like the others now I've also planted squash here and they, they didn't do well at all this is one of my squash plants and I also plant the cucumbers and they haven't done well either uh, but my string beans my green beans they have done pretty good oh they have done pretty uh yeah they have done very well and i've been picking uh, got green beans every single week and the corn unfortunately didn't grow too tall either and the squirrels they came in and ate you know when they started producing the uh, corn the reason why the corn didn't do good and the cucumbers and the squash is because this is as you remember uh, a couple of months ago this was lawn it was a uh, I had nothing but grass here and I amended it uh, well I tilled it and then I amended it with uh, some compost and then I added uh, mulch on top and it's gonna take a long time for the for the soil it may take a year or two of adding compost in order for it to uh, grow everything I need here so however that doesn't mean that nothing grows here because as you know the kale the Swiss chard and the beans did good I just need to amend this every year until the soil is perfect for everything so now if you notice back there everything grows in that spot because I've been amending that uh, area for like maybe 20 years I've been adding uh, you know com compost every couple of years and just about everything grows over there So one of the things I want to do here is I want to let uh, a lot of these uh, green beans go to seed. I'm going to let them dry up and that way I'll have seed for next year. Because you never know, we, there may not be any seeds available at the store next year. But I have, yeah, lots and lots of green beans. Like I said, I've been picking them every, every week. Uh, I either have them for lunch or for dinner. All right guys, so I have more than enough beans for today. So I'll probably save some of these for tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash them real quickly and cut the ends and store them for tonight. All right guys, so it's been a while since I've done a vlog. And as you, as I already told you earlier, I've been uh, on YouTube uh, for the past uh, three, four months. I've been doing videos for my wife uh, on her cooking channel in Spanish. So I'm not absent from YouTube. It's just that I'm working on her channel recently. She's now in uh, upstate New York, uh, but I'm gonna go up there next week and uh, she's gonna come back with me a few days later and we're gonna continue doing her, um, her cooking channels in Spanish. And I haven't traveled to Puerto Rico, obviously because of the uh, pandemic. And I just wanna take the uh, necessary precautions. I don't wanna catch it somewhere here or in the airport or on the plane and then 
transfer that to a family member. So, all right, so if you guys are looking for videos recorded in Puerto Rico, I can recommend, highly recommend three other vloggers. And one of them is Hayden of Vegan Vlogs. You've seen him on this channel. We recorded tons of videos together. Yeah, he lives in Las Marias and he's still, he's still uh, vlogging uh, a couple of times a week. Also, uh, I want to recommend uh, the Kaufman family. They live in Rincon and their channel name is called Life Transplanted. And I also want to recommend Jen from Jen There Done That. Uh, she's, uh, she lives on the southeast uh, part of the island and she frequently does videos as well. They have a ton of content that they, that they have recorded over the last few years. So go check them out. Um, and I'm also going to link them down below. And also, I want to mention an, another channel that I just discovered a few days ago. I was just browsing YouTube and I found uh, a channel with two Puerto Rican videos. Her name is Jessica from uh, The Plant Killer. The Plant Killer is her channel name. Now she volunteered to go to Puerto Rico and work on a farm in Vieques. And uh, the last two videos that she has done, I was very impressed by. It's something that I will do. Uh, so yeah, I really liked her content in Puerto Rico and she also has a drone. So yeah, yeah, go check her out. All right guys, so uh, I think I'm gonna close this and I'll be back here in about a week. I think I'm gonna record a, uh, my trip up to upstate New York and I'll bring that to you guys later. So you guys have a great morning, afternoon or night, wherever you are. And before you go, don't forget to, and all right, see you guys later.